Bible says we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are the called according to his purpose. Now, this is one of those conditional promises in God's word. Some promises are unconditional. Other promises are conditional. I did that with my kids. You know, I'm going to, you're my son, so I'm going to love you unconditionally. However, if you clean up your room and, you know, make your bed and take out the garbage and do this, then I will take you to Dairy Queen and get an ice cream. That's a conditional promise. I will do something if you will do something. Romans 8.28 is one of those conditional promises that says everything that happens to you will work together for good. If you love God, to, it's only to those who love God and to them who are the called according to his purpose. Now, the verse does not say everything that happens is good. It says it'll work together for good. And the illustration I use is, have you ever been hungry? Anybody here ever been hungry before? Well, as you come to my house, you knock on the door. Brother Hovind, I'm hungry. I'm a teenager, he's hungry all the time, right? I said, Brother Hovind, I'm hungry. I said, man, come on in. I'm going to fix you up. I'm going to, boy, just open your mouth here. I got a cup of flour. Eat that. He said, ugh, a cup of flour. That wouldn't taste too good, would it? Well, how about a teaspoon of salt? You want a teaspoon of salt? Would that taste good? Mm -hmm. No. How about baking soda? Let's pour that down your throat and see how that tastes. No. Well, how about a half a cup of Crisco? Anybody like to drink a half a cup of Crisco? How about a cup of buttermilk? Some people drink that stuff. I just can't bring myself to drink it. How about let's mix them all together and make biscuits? Oh, well, now we're talking. See, the individual ingredients taste lousy, but they work together for good. If you read through just about any cake mixture or recipe or something, you'll find out the individual ingredients would not taste very good. But they will work together for good. And that's what God promised. He promised all things will work together for good if you love God. Sometimes bad things happen, at least it seems for the moment that it's bad, and you say, God, I'm trying to serve you. I'm trying to do what's right. Why did you let this happen? But as then long as you go, go along through life longer and longer, you realize, wow, that was really good. I remember we tried awful hard to get, borrow the money to buy a brand new trailer when we first got married. We wanted to get a brand new motor, mobile home. And it just didn't work out. And I said, God, why didn't you let this work out? Well, of course, I found out if we had bought that brand new mobile home, then five years later, we would have lost, you know, $10,000 when we went to sell it. It depreciates like a car. So instead, God just shut the door. We were trying to serve God, and we just thought like doors were being shut. Oh, God, why would you do this? Don't you love us? Don't you want us to have this? And he's trying to say from heaven, no, I don't want you to have that. I got something else better for you. And so you just got to keep serving God. And sometimes it takes a while to see the crop come in. You know, you plant the seeds and you stand there and watch the dirt for a while and you'll get discouraged. Plant the seeds and then get busy and go do something else and you'll be, the, the crop will come in, okay? You just keep doing what's right. Oh, it's hard, though, to keep your heart right with God because the Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Jeremiah 17, 9. 